Chloe and Cardiff, 1st of December, scene A, take two, camera one. If you think I am crazy, I will have to agree with you in that regard. Being on the outside, looking at someone like me, I would certainly view it in the same way. But if you were me and were on the inside looking out, you would understand the depth of my motivation and why I am willing to go to the end if I must to fulfill what I believe matters most in my life. My name is Chloé de Jeter. I'm from France. Um, I am 19 years old. I'm studying theatre and drama in Cardiff. Knowing the city a bit from watching Doctor Who and Torchwood make it easier for me. I already done film studies and I found out that I was more into like acting, although it was good to have like production eye and point of view. Although I'm not that much into like acting in films, I do like it too. Although I will concentrate myself in theatre for the moment. In France, in terms of logistic, you have to have done like theatre before. So like in high school, I choose film studies. Um, although I did act in everyone's short films that does not properly count as acting, I found myself more in two films, so... They accept more easily cisgendered men, or at least people who look like cisgender men. Um, cisgender is when you are okay with the gender you were given by birth. We identify as gender fluid. Basically, gender fluid is I can identify as a woman sometimes, I can identify as non binary, I can identify as a man. It just depends on the day and the mood, so I go by them on a daily basis, I'd say. My first year in high school was. Uh, messy. In that time I had a girlfriend and I was not shy to say it because I didn't see the problem of having a girlfriend because although I'd never, I hadn't came out to my parents at the time, um, with my friends I was here but I, my friends accept it so I don't see why other people who are in the school would not accept it but yeah the headmistress who was also my Spanish teacher uh, did not like it and basically there was three queer people in a class two out of three got pushed out of the school i was the only one standing in the end i don't think she really liked it the fact that i was kind of okay with it do you face any discrimination outside of school maybe in work mostly not with um, the clients I had, I did not, but I had with my uh, boss, who always picked up on me for some reason again. You say in general France is quite discriminatory to people that aren't like cisgender white men? Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, yes. Um, Mostly, I'd say. I did grow up in the countryside and um, mostly because I was um, like the different <laughs> person. Although I am light skinned, I was the different one because everyone was white and I was not. <laughs> so I did got picked up for this. No one ever said anything. The kind of apology I got from the adults was like, Oh, but they're children, they're just playing. Is it really playing? Because it's really hurting me, so it should not. I don't think so. Because now that you're in the city, is that made a difference from being in the countryside? Is it more diverse? Well, I'm, I'm sorry to say it, but it's still very white. <laughs> I, am, I am living in the part of the city, which is 
which has a bit more like diversity and more in like when I go out I see a lot of black families where I live I feel, I feel way more comfortable there <laughs> Have you ever wanted something so bad that it kept you awake all hours of the night? Made you lose sleep, not eat, not shower because you're so utterly consumed with your life's purpose. The neglect of family, friends, your lover, all of it. Just to get to where you're going in your own mind. Have you ever been that hungry for anything? I would definitely agree with you. You can call me crazy any time.